for Glenn and the family. I know Glenn and I are the same faith. We're both Christian, and uh, I know where he is now, and I know that he's in a perfect place. Um, Glenn was one of the most unique guys. You know, you, you think of Glenn country, Alice Cooper rock and roll, we couldn't have been closer. He was one of the premier guitar players in, in both rock and uh, country. And pe a lot of people don't know this, but I mean, when the respect he had in the rock and roll world, people like Eddie Van Halen one time, you know, said, can you get me a guitar lesson with Glenn? Now most rockers would go, what? That's the kind of guitar player he was. He was considered one of the five best guitar players out there. Um, and it's not, but he was the most unique guy. Uh, I played a lot of golf with Glenn, had a lot of laughs with him. Uh, and when I heard this happening, I was almost hoping that he would go sooner, because I know that it's a long, slow, cruel death. And, uh, but, you know, our families were very, 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 very tight. Uh, Cheryl and Kim are very good friends. Our kids are, are very close, Cal and Calico and everybody. But they all grew up together. You um, said three years ago in an interview that you saw him slipping. What were some of the things you noticed? Uh, you know, it was one of those things where I'd be playing golf with him. And this is when he was in good shape. He was out touring, and he was playing guitar, and he was playing golf every day, and he was doing Branston. And every once in a while, he'd tell me a joke on the first tee. And then about the fourth tee, he'd tell me the same joke again. And then about the 16th hole, he would tell me the joke again. And the guys, you know, we'd all just kind of go, well, maybe just forgetful, you know. We could, s we could just see the beginnings of it, of him slipping a little bit, you know. And, and those were the things that kind of raised our, he was doing the pudding one time, the Christmas pudding. And uh, uh, Gary Mule Deer and I were backstage. Uh, and we were telling jokes, the room was telling jokes. And I told him a joke. And he was laughing his head off. And he left, come back like 10 minutes later. And he says, tell me that joke again. I told him the joke. Came back like five times. And finally, Gary went, something going on? And I went, yeah, something, something's not quite. Yet you put a guitar in his hand, and he was a virtuoso. You get him on stage, and he, he was automatic. I don't care how much he had slipped, he was there. When it came to that, he was there. Same thing with golf. The guy was the best. I always said, as an amateur, 60 yards in, the best player I ever played with. He was a, he was a master short game player. But I mean, we had some really fun times. I played, I played at least one or two times a week with Glenn when he lived here in town. So, so I, I saw him all the time. You, know. you said he was unique. What, what made him unique, and particularly when you think of your relationship with him, your friendship with him? It was unique in the fact that we were, I was so far away from him in music, the character of Alice Cooper, and he was so far into the middle, uh, really, really mid mainstream rock and roll. You know, he was sort of, he could go hang out with the Rat Pack, or he could hang out with Donnie and Marie, or he could hang out with the Beatles, or anybody. He was in that middle. He was just sort of the all purpose, good looking kid that could do anything. He was the golden boy. And yet, him and I were like this when it, when it came to sense of humor, when it came to golf, when it came to music. Uh, you know, one of, he played on almost every Beach Boys. You know, he was a beach, played on the Beach Boys songs, played on all the early rock stuff. He was so well thought of in the business as a musician and as a singer and as an all around entertainer. You know, that I mean, I really looked up to him on that level. That, and he was always personable, always laughing always ready to make you laugh. Just, you know, he had that. He had it all. He had the charisma that you just can't buy. Uh, 